Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to change text with click events. Um, when the click event happens, you can use JavaScript to update the HTML uh, element. For example, when a user clicks get message button, it changes the text of the element with the class message to say, here is the message. This works by adding the following code within the click event. So here they would say, get element by class name of a message. Um, so yeah, let's see, where's the class name here? Here they have a class name of message. There's this P element has actually two class names. One is message and one is box. So here when they say get element by class name and they say message at position zero, they're saying um, we're gonna grab the first message one. And there's only one here for now, so that's it. And so, and then they say uh, the text content is equal to here is the message. The message will go here right now and they want to add here is the message. So add code inside the onClick method. So if we come back up to here, here's our onClick. I'm gonna stretch this out so it's easier to read. Um, add code inside the onClick event handler to change the text message to the element, here is the message. Here is the message. Oh, so they just want us to add this in here. The message will go here, and when I click here, here is the message. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's this. That's what they're trying to get you to do here. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, one thing you could say is you could set this out and make it into variables like uh, let message val, and we set that to this guy, and then instead of having it on two lines like that, we could change message val dot text content, and then here is the message. <clears throat> and now if we refresh this, it still works, but this is a little bit cleaner. It's easier to understand, um, in my opinion. Um, yeah, this is kind of the thing. When you use vanilla JavaScript like this, you end up with really big file, with really long files. So that's why, uh, you know, ES6 doing things like this um, have become quite popular in JavaScript because it makes it so that you can make your code a bit more succinct. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you get, ooh, it's not right. I thought that. Your code should use get elements by class name method to select the element with the class message and set its text content to the given string. Okay, so my guess is that even though it's working just the way it's supposed to, they don't want me doing the message val thing. So we just wanna have it, um, just the on click thing do that. Um, so yeah, it didn't like the refactoring, but uh, it, either way it would've worked. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.